Alright guys, in this video we're going to show you how to fit a Bristol thermostatic shower cartridge. Uh, this is the cartridge that controls the, the temperature in a prism mixer shower. So here's the part we're going to be fitting today. Right guys, so tools for the job before we start. Uh, in this instance we need a, it's a 3mm Allen key, I have, no 2.5mm sorry. An important thing here is, these are the Allen keys I normally use. Uh, which have the sort of plastic sleeving on them. Uh, these don't actually fit through the, the grub screw hole. So, no, sorry. <laughs> you have to use uh, just a plain Allen key like this uh, to enable it to fit through the hole. Okay, Stanley knife for a small screwdriver, just for pinging off the plastic cap to reveal the grub screw. This is just a, a posy bit screwdriver to, for removing the faceplate. Set of pliers just to remove the um, the plastic uh, bushing that's on the end of the existing uh, cartridge. You'll see that in the video. It's a grey bushing. It just needs pulled off. Can be quite tight. Suitable wrench uh, for removing the actual retaining nut. Uh, in this instance, it was a 32 millimetre wide uh, retaining nut. So I use my Nipex uh, plier wrenches here, but you can use a, an adjustable spanner as long as it's got wide enough jaws. The next thing is uh, a tube of grease, which is important to lubricate the the O-rings on the, the new cartridge. And um, lastly, a good uh, releasing agent such as this. This is the one I always use, it's really good. Um, you will find uh, the retaining nut sometimes can be a bit seized uh, due to lime scale. Um, so a good spray of this stuff or WD-40, anything like that. Leave it for two or three minutes and it should loosen off. Just don't force it uh, when you're doing the job. Uh, remember, these components are all brass, you know, they're, they're easily damaged, so just take your time. Right, guys, that's the tools you, you'll need for the job. Uh, it's fairly straightforward and I'll continue now, okay? Right, guys, first thing is obviously to isolate the water supply. Um, and then we can start work on this. Uh, the bottom handle here is the temperature control handle, so the valve is in behind this. So we need to get this off. So you'll see the little hole in the bottom there. There was a plastic cap covering that, which you need to ping off, you know, with a Stanley knife or the small screwdriver. Uh, that will reveal the hole where you can then insert your Allen key and slacken off the, the small grub screw. In this instance, it was two and a half millimeters. You'll notice I've left the handle pointing to nine o'clock as looking at a clock face. I always do this just so we, we can put it back in the same position. Okay, pull the handle, it should just pull off as simple as that. Okay, so now we can see the, the black plastic piece there, which is the, the, the temperature stop, if you like, so which you need to mark or remember uh, what way it was on. Um, so if you see that bit on the right hand side, I can see that's sitting at 3 o'clock as if it, you're looking at a clock face. So that's the way we need to put it back on. Um, it just dictates the temperature, you know, the highest temperature and the lowest temperature on the valve. Okay, so here's the small grey bush we're talking about. You need the pliers to pull off. Um, it's just basically a bush that slips on top of the, the, the cartridge. So basically, you might need pliers to loosen this off, but just should just pull off. Uh, make sure you keep that because that needs to be fitted onto the new the new cartridge. It just pushes on on the splines of the cartridge. Okay, we need to get this uh, the actual water control off. So same process, get this handle off. So get the plastic cap off of the, the hole there to reveal the grub screw. Use the Allen key again, get the grub screw out or loosen it off. Sorry which will then enable you to pull the handle off like so. So just lay that to the side. Um, there's nothing further we need to do with that. You will notice that I had it in the 9 o'clock position again, so we can put it back at, on the 9 o'clock position so we know it's in the, in the same area. Okay, here I need to remove the faceplate. <clears throat> so the only thing that was holding this was two, two screws, you know, so I'll just use a screwdriver to remove those plates which should just pull off fairly easily. You may find that it's siliconed on, uh, some people silicon these on, uh, but this one's just got a sponge sort of gasket so it was easy enough to come off. Okay next thing is this collar here, so we need to just unscrew the collar. 
shouldn't have an issue getting that off, just unscrew it by hand. And now that reveals the, the retaining nut, which is holding the cartridge in place. Okay, so this is where you need to use, um, you know, a suitable releasing agent. So here I'm just using the, the plus gas. Um, just give it a good soak in around the thread of the retaining nut. Uh, you may need to leave it for two or three minutes just to, to soak in. And then it should be fairly easy to remove. Um, just don't force it. So here I'm just using the Nipex plier wrenches. Just my preferred tool for this type of job. Um, you know, grip the nut, spin it. I've obviously done this before, it's just for the video purposes. So it should just pull out just like that. And the cartilage just pulls out. On a spring. Okay, importantly now, uh, with a new cartridge, you can see I've fitted the grey uh, bush on the end there. It was just a, a case of pushing it on. And now we're just about to apply silicon grease around the two O rings here. So the two black rubber parts you see there are the O rings. So we'll give a smidgen of grease around those. Now we just simply push this back in. It's just a push fit fit in, so you just push it in. I've not actually pushed it in far enough there, uh, so you need to, it actually pushes in about an inch, so give it a good push and make sure it's all the way home. Uh, you will, you'll know as soon as you put the retaining ring in, um, if, it's, if it's in far enough, you know, if it threads the bite. So the retaining ring's back in, tightened up, uh, it just needs to be nipped up, not, not hugely tight. Um, the O-rings do all the seal in here. All this does is hold the cartridge in place, so just nip it up. Chrome collar back on, hand tight, just tighten that down, like so. Just replace the, the cover here. Uh, as I said, it's got a foam gasket, this one, so it didn't need any silicon, uh, but you can silicon it if you want. Two screws, uh, put it back into position, tighten it down. The water handle back on, you can see you've put it back on the way it came off, so it's, the handle's pointing at 9 o'clock there. Uh, so put, put it in position, tighten up the, the grub screw and replace the, the small plastic cap on the bottom. Put that back on. Okay, so now we're fitting the, or refitting the, the temperature stop. So importantly, we've got it sitting at three o'clock again. Uh, so you, you see that, uh, the bit jutting out on the right hand side. So I've pretty much put it back in the same position that it came off. Um, all this does is dictates the temperature. It just ensures that the, the shower is not scalding hot, you know. Um, okay, I've just fitted the handle back uh, with the handle again at nine o'clock. Um, just to, you know, just fitting it the, the way it was when we, when we took it apart. It's just a habit I get into. I do this all the time with uh, things like this. So now I'm just testing uh, to see where the stop is and where it's working um, compared to the, there is markings on the actual shower so I'm just looking to see if it's roughly in the area, you know, the hot and cold, which it is, so grub screw refitted. Now we're just testing the, the shower obviously, the water's back on, switch the shower on and I'll just adjust the temperature now and then feel the water just to see if it's heating up. Bearing in mind, uh, before I get called out to this shop, the water was just freezing cold, you know, all the time, regardless how much it turned up the, the cartridge. So now I can feel that, it's getting really warm, you know, so I know it's working, so thumbs up, job's a good one. <laughs> Alright guys, well hopefully that was of some help to you. Um, if you like the video, please give a like, uh, thumbs up, please subscribe to my channel, uh, click on the bell, that'll notify you anytime I upload uh, new videos. Um, Thanks again for watching, thank you, bye.